binary so we could understand and read it. Okay, so first I'm gonna write on the board and you tell me what number it is. Okay, can you guess what number it is? Like That's correct. And um but like so why should I do this? So um what I do right now is like Right now, I'm just showing you how um, base 10 works. So, like, like each of the number or like column has a column, like, going under the launch place, like, launch place. So, for example, the first column would be 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, What's five times um, 100? Five times 100 is five. Okay. Okay, what's like one to 10? 10. Okay, that, that's good. And what's two times one? Two. Okay. And if I'm all of it equals to? Yep. So like that's basically mostly how um, base 10 works. Okay, so now I'm going to introduce base 2, which is like, um, okay, base 2 is more different because like, there's only two numbers, which is a 0, 0, and a 1, and you can tell like, it's like the two numbers because you know on the power button on the computer, there's like, there's like a 0 and a 1 together, like that's kind of more like a Zero mostly. And so, okay, I'll see an example. Let me write like an example on the board. Okay, so that's like one zero one zero. And um, again, like base 10, like it has like, they each have like a column, like where like the numbers are in. So, like, the first column would be like two zero, which would be one. And um, what would, um, to the one power be two. Okay. What would um, two to the second power be four? And two to the third power would be eight. Yep. And it, it goes on like so forth. So okay. So the third column would be one. Yep. And the second column would be two. Okay. And the, the third column would be and the uh, fourth column be E. That's very good. Okay, so in order to like refer to base 10, like as a not count the zeros, because you know matters like it's kind of like the the ones that are under the line. So right here is like eight like under eight. So it would be eight and then plus two. Like what would it equal to? Okay. That's correct. Right now, I'm going to provide examples to see if you guys understand. Like, you know. Okay. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah. In, on base two, is it possible for uh, the numbers to be go up higher than one, or is it only one? It's only one zero. Like, it's only two numbers. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. And, um, okay, so I'm going to provide some examples for base for base two is base ten, so I'm gonna write one zero one. Oh, can you tell me like which like like how to convert it? Like how to convert it? So uh, to, from base two, yes. Uh, to from base two to base ten. All right. So you want to put a one underneath the first digit. Yeah. Two underneath the second digit. And a four underneath the third digit. And now since the four and the one have one on top of them. Right now I'm going to convert um, base 10 to base 2. So, okay, so, okay, so there's 8, 10, okay, okay, so 
me how to convert it to base two. Here will be like an eight. I know like under here would be four. Yeah. And under here would be two. Under here would be two. Yeah. So that's how I like I can pull soup to be done. Oh I need you. Yeah. Okay. Was it was it helpful? Yes. Okay. I'm glad. So okay, right now, like I'm gonna give a quiz or like I'll just see like you understand. So I just for you guys quiz and then I see you guys all got 100. So like I mean you probably guys understand like conversion of base to base 10. So like okay, now let's just go on to like just want to ask like give you feedback on like what you learned from, from the lesson. Thank <laughs> you. 